Welcome traders. Welcome to this YouTube channel. My name is Bundy Pips. Kindly make sure you subscribe. And uh, today being on a Monday, I really I didn't have any chance yesterday to analyze for you. But I think we can do today very quick. It's still not too late. We can have the anticipation of the week. We, we should see where the markets are heading this week. And we should see if we can get any positions today to trade or any opportunity to trade. So today, guys, I have uh, you all know I have my pairs, the ones I'm trading the 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 GJ, the GJ, the EU, and the GU. So I have analyzed these. Uh, if you come to charts, you can see that I have analyzed, but. Uh, I, I will go through them again with you and I think it should be only wise for me. I really don't want to mess with these setups of mine. You can see they are very, very clean setups. Mm, I think I what I can do is I come to the watch list and uh, add... I will add another pair like... Uh, let me add like gj gj with a different broker so that we can be able to analyze with it you, see, you can see i'm using ohanda but i can add gj with uh, like fxcm so that it can help us doing our analysis yeah you can see that it is coming down yeah Okay, and that. Okay, now let's go to the uh, to the chart very to the the pair we just added, so that we can start our analysis very quick. I want a DJ, yeah after D X Y that one. You can see it is very plain. There is no any setups or any line on it but let's just be quick analyzing it so guys let's first start out by drawing some key zones you can see this is a zone i can say there that is a zone you, you see guys these zones sometimes they can really be like I say invisible until someone points them out for you and then you can think like ha ah, these things has been there all the time all the time this <laughs> this this guy always calls huh, when I'm doing my analysis I think let, let me let me just put my phone on flight mode really quick to avoid any calls like that i think i should be doing that hand forth okay let me draw another zone somewhere there okay you see it's clear and now let's try to look on the on the direction from the daily past uh, from the daily time frames what can we see here Although the market is consolidating from a, a daily perspective, we can see here the market is consolidating. No any volume candles inside there. But we can say it is on an uptrend until or unless, uh, sorry for that guys, sorry, sorry for that. Let me go back to the charts. There, we have the charts. Let's say, until or unless these markets breaks this lower low here, we are still on an uptrend. Until it breaks this lower low there, from a daily perspective, we are on an uptrend, although now the market is consolidating there, somewhere there. 
we can't see any CV, any big moves or anything like that, but we are on an uptrend. Unless that low is broken, we are looking for buys. Let's go, let's go come back now to the four hours. The four hours I think now is a bit clear. The four hours is a bit clear. We can, we have been ranging in this zone for a while. You see the market is there. It comes down, it eats there. It goes up, it's very near, it eats somewhere there. It comes back there. It goes back, it eats there. It comes back there. It goes back, it eats there. So there's some chances that this one can come to here and eat there and then go up or it can go straight down but since we are i can say that we are in more the setup is more bullish but keep on mind that there are some stop losses up here you see around these these zones there there are a lot of stop losses up here that's liquidity and there's a, a lot of stop losses down here so that's liquidity so when the market is is ranging sometimes it tends to to create some more and more liquidity so that when it takes them it goes up with momentum when the market breaks from the zone i can call this the, the zone for me i can say that the, where the market is right now inside here inside this inside this 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 where, where it is ranging i can say that is a zone so when the market breaks there i expect some momentum either to the downside to 189.530 or we are going to the upside 179.672 but since we are looking more on on bullish so i'm expecting the price to to break to the upside Remember, I don't have to be right. I don't need to be right. No. I'm just airing my view and what I see the market is making. So if, if you come down to the one hour, you can see clearly that the market here is tending to, it is on an uptrend. You can see. But when the market is ranging, sometimes it can be tricky. So it's advisable to to stay off the markets when it's ranging unless you are really, really good at what you're doing. So for me, the way I'm seeing the market today, if the markets managed to break this lower, this high high, that one there, I can tend to buy these markets from this zone. I can buy the markets from this zone. Yeah, that zone. 15 minutes, okay. If the market breaks that higher high, the ones up there, I will be looking from the, for the buys from this zone. There. Yeah. So what do I really need to see before I buy the market? I want to see the markets going up, breaking closing a candle closing above this high high and then the market coming back not like coming back shooting like this no but i want the market to come back in something like this something like this and then down here i need to see something like a w something like a w there and then a break of structure and then i look for my buys around there then whoop, we go up. If the market reacts like this exactly, I will be keen to take that buy. If it doesn't, it's okay. Tomorrow is another day. Today being a Monday, I don't really need to trade. Plus, I, I know there are some people taking these sales from here. See? Yeah, you can see that's a very clear sell. There are some people taking that sell. Is okay if you can trade a reversal for you. Let me see if there is a, any possible. What can I say? Is there any possible like a risk to reward there? 
let me see mm, if if you take that trade but i don't advise to trade reversals for me is a no <coughs> excuse <coughs> if you take that trade there that is a one is to three no for me no for me, no, 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 that's a trade I could not take, especially for an opposite direction of a trade. For me, that's a no. For me, that's a no. I want that market to come, go past there, take them out, come down to here, and then we, we go up. That's what I'm looking for. Anything else? No, I'm looking for any, I'm not looking for any shots. I'll not catch any any falling knife. If you have been trading around, you know the candle printing now is like a falling knife. I want you to it it, it will lie for you that you have you have to be a part of the sellers, but you really don't need to. So that that's what I'm looking for on a GJ. But remember that market is also consolidating. So is advisable to avoid it too you can stay out on a console on a ranging market or console trading market you can stay out and watch from afar and see what is happening let's let's look at uh, the dollar index at general let's look at dxy and see what is happening on the dxy let's let's look at the the dxy the dollar index and see what is really happening on the dxy i will leave this pair here for for an uh, analyze analyzing purposes only so i will have like two gj on the on on the on my chart you see this the way the market is ranging from afar i can i suggest you stay off from that market unless you are your appetite for risk is very 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 high so let's start from a daily you can see guys daily is on daily on dxy we are we are on an uptrend we are on uptrend let's start marking out some zones here let's mark we can mark that one as a zone remember these lines are areas they are areas you don't have to draw like if the price touches this line it goes back no it can touch that line pass it a, a little bit and then come back or it can touch that line and go straight ahead and nothing not, nothing happens Do, so you don't have to be sure you just draw and think that when the market reaches near that line or past that line it is supposed to act in some ways yes so you can see on dx where and on dxy we are on an uptrend but we are reaching a zone which i can say it looks like a resistance to me that zone it looks and like an uh, it is a resistance from plus if you can see we are this fair value gap here or oh, not order block order block guys i'm sorry for that that order block so the market can reverse from there a bit uh, it can like come down to that place and then shoots up or it can come down and continue going down so you have to be very 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 careful trading the the, the other pairs including the gj including any other pair because gj and dxy they they tend to go to the same direction they don't uh, go opposite each other gj and dxy they go to the same direction if gj is buying dxy should be buying too plus us election is you know ux us election is around the corner so you have to be really really careful trading the currency pairs you should be 
careful 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 the way you trade your currency pairs i can add another zone up there you know liquidity is resting you see somewhere above here above these zones here liquidity is resting there why is liquidity resting there it is because of you can see this this is full of liquidity so they have to be taken out before the market goes to the other direction but sometimes it, it, it doesn't have to happen because you can see where the market is right now there, there, there were some liquidities above here Th that were taken out so the market can reverse from where it is or it can continue going up we really don't care about the direction the market is going because we we are on the market in some very we were trying to catch some very pips less pips like 45 pips 50 pips and we are out of the market we are not swing traders we are not position traders we are not scalpers we are just day traders we can only hold a trade for today and if it goes or by two days maximum i really have never really ordered a trade for three days i just do one or two days and i'm out of the markets so this is four hours what can we see in four hours let's see did this candle break that lower low let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see no it didn't they just a, a candle just closed below it you can see clear now let me let me put it like this a, a week a week just closed below it but it not it did not close below it so no we are not going with, with that one yes i can say that the dxy is still bullish okay can we can see that the dxy is bullish yeah uh huh let's see let's see let's see yeah this one that is the same lower low on four hours it did not break that lower low you can see it has breaked this one see that high high has been breaked the candle has crossed above it so if the if the market remember we are not trading dxy no we are not trading dxy we are just using it to see the direction of the markets or to add it an, as a confluence to your markets now if the dxy comes back to that zone if it comes back to that zone boom it's going up with it if, if it can come back to that zone you can see it where it is is somehow acting week you can see if it comes back to this zone this this inside that zone and then we are up that's that's how i'm seeing the dxy and i'm adding it as a confluence to my i'm adding it as a confluence to my to my trading analysis you can see the other gj you can see it it has like dxy and and uh, gj they have like a same setup so that being said because i know the dxy has broken structure this one has not if this one comes to inside to this zone if it even if it does not it has not broken that i have i will buy because i know okay i let me see what what i want if it comes back like this and it give me an like an m pattern there i will buy this this i will buy it since i know on the dxy side it has broken structure i will not hesitate to buy it because i know they they tend to move to the same direction I think that's that's it guys i don't think if i will do analysis on the on the gu or gu i tried to look on gu i think i will just show you my setups i will not really use a different pair to analyze this is the the gu i tried to look at the pair i really didn't see any any setups or any good uh, any good
Mm. Okay, no, but it, it is there. It is there. By the time I was analyzing, I really didn't see it. Let me in 15 minutes. Can I see any clear entry point from 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. No. No, 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 no. Because I really didn't see any pair. You can see it has broken this lower low. Uh, it has broken this lower low there. And then the only thing that is here that I can use to enter this market is this is this fair value gap. That one, it is not filled in properly yet. But that's the only thing that is there that you can use to enter that market. But no, I'm not interested in GU today. I will look in on, on it for like tomorrow or mid in the course of the week i really not i'm not interested in this gj in this in the in, in gu but on on gbp usp usd yes i i'm looking to take if i get if i get remember this the, you see this this one if you are if you you are keen i analyzed this this uh the this entry last week if you are like a swing trader you hold trades for three to four days i know by now you should be in profits if you are holding this i analyzed that trade and pointed out you can you can watch it on my video but i did not take it i took a trade on a gj so last week remember we closed two percent up we don't know what this week the markets can draw our way I'm waiting for this candle to close. The the one hour candle to close this one. This candle to close and I I'll see how it closed and then I will decide. I'm looking for to sell these markets, the GU market it is on a downtrend. The GU market is on a, a downtrend. I'm looking to to you can I'm looking to to short the markets. If it, it 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 can broke i want it to broke that lower low and then if it, if it, if if you can break that lower low i'm looking to short the markets very quick without hesitation i'm really looking i really i don't know if the market can come back to this zone because i think that like this is the better zone to sell from or to take your shots from there. If it reverses and enter that zone, that's where I will sell from. I'm not interested in this one. You can see there is a uh, a fair value gap here, and a small order broke, and there is also another above it. But I'm not interested in those ones. If the market manages to pull back to this zone, I will short the market from there. But where I'm really, really keeping my eyes is on my milk cow the gj this one that is my where my eyes are locked on the price so that is guys that is it for today i really don't have a lot thank you for watching this video to the end kindly make sure like you catch your trails some trails thank you and keep subscribing to the channel and watch out for new videos coming up